Hello! This time around we're going to talk about Mario Kart 8. Now one of the more popular things with pre-orders to do, more importantly with big box retailers than smaller chain stores or like game stores in general, is they like to sometimes add gift cards with games that sometimes when you go to buy a game when it's released, you wait uh, because sometimes they'll give gift cards or something with it. Amazon does it with pre-orders, Target does it sometimes with you know just games that are out like hey you buy this game get a $10 gift card. Well, in this promotion, if you buy Mario Kart 8, the promotion is to get free gas. Now, let's be straight. Does not You can use this for more than gas, but that's what they run the promotion because, hey, it's Mario Kart, fuel, add it together, makes sense. Uh, the Best Buy is running a promotion uh, for the Mario Kart racer, offering a $10 prepaid MasterCard for those who put in their orders for the game now. Uh, Again, the premium is a $10 card usable anywhere. MasterCard is accepted, so it doesn't have to be gas. But again, it's one of those marketing things. They put them together and say, hey, fuel would sound great. So there you go. Uh, of course, the sales pitch is free gas. That's the point of it. But uh, pre-orders have to be registered, have to register a code by June 30th uh, to collect the card. Again, this is nothing new in retail. Uh, sometimes they do a, a bigger gift card with buying a, a certain console or more importantly a lot of times 3ds has been the one that's done more of this than like the big systems but it's been done so if you were gonna get Mario Kart 8 anyway for the Wii U and you were gonna pre-order it you might as well pre-order with Best Buy and get a gift card a $10 gift card that you could basically use anywhere MasterCard is you know accepted for whatever you want to use it on uh, this is a trend that's gonna continue because they're trying to get of course they're trying to get people to buy the game, like any big game, they're trying to get to you to buy at their store, not somebody else's store, because the $10 gift card for them uh, really isn't cutting too much of the, how much they make off that game. Uh, to understand retail, a lot of time retail, whatever they're selling the game at at retail, it's a lot of times half of what they actually like paid for it. So a lot of times when you see, oh, well, this, game, this thing is $60, well, retail bought it at half that price, and then depending on what kind of, what market you're talking about like food would be a lot lower margin than a video game but still uh, there are different margins but they can easily absorb the ten dollars a game if they sell a lot of games because it's promotion so so if you're gonna get this game you might as well pre-order and get a ten dollar card you can use anywhere for something else maybe another game down the road you're looking forward to never know so if you haven't pre-ordered Mario Kart 8 would you definitely pre-order with Best Buy to get this ten dollar gift card or are you just the type of person that you're going to buy it anywhere, pre-order wherever you usually pre-order it, you don't care about the promotions? Anyway, guys, like always, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.